Hello, YouTubers. This is the Nubifier 3.6 is in PTU. Finally, this channel usually tries to focus more on the important aspects, such as balance and development topics. My goal is to entertain and to make both the development team and the community think a little bit. For that to work, I need you to share your opinions and ideas in the comments to identify the issues and some possible solutions. It also helps me greatly if you share the content with your org and friends. Let's begin. Hover mode is new for patch 3.6, and after testing, it seems fine. The learning curve is normal, and at least on dual sticks, it seems quite intuitive. This morning I was watching The Dark Law, who's a fantastic Twitch streamer. He identified a very large flaw in the hover system. You see, he likes using first-person view, and he also likes to land manually. The 600i, like most of the ships in our fleet, have an obstructed view from the horizon and below. The 600i is particularly bad as the pilot sits further back in the middle. Landing at the top door style hangars means that he couldn't actually see his flight path unless he dipped his nose forward. As soon as he does that, the ship loses altitude quickly and very quickly lunges forward. I wanted to test to see if I could apply rear thrust while pitching the nose forward. I wanted to see how hard the learning curve would be to perform this maneuver without crashing into a wall, acquiring a wanted level, and some costly repairs. I spent some time on a barren surface just trying to maintain nose down stationary hover. Pulling back on my left stick, which is strafe rear, while pushing forward on my right stick, which is pitched down, I could achieve a decent balance. It wasn't easy to maintain, and I wasn't able to do it very quickly, reliably. I also sometimes needed to introduce some vertical thrust to maintain, which is my right twist right, and because of the ship angle, I needed to pull even further back on my left stick. This turned out to be a complex ballet of bullshit, which is tedious and would get old very soon. It is possible to perform this maneuver, and I love a good challenge, but ladies and gentlemen, this can't be the final solution. In essence, when landing a ship like this, in a top-down hangar, when you hit a wall, not only do you get a fine, you also have to pay repairs, it's not enjoyable, and as I said, not what I would call engaging gameplay. I consider myself a little bit more hardcore than casual, and I know once the honeymoon is over, I'll dread landing larger ships. Pitching nose down like this, in a stable hover, takes some precise control and concentration. Now, even if you make it into the hangar, you will still need to return level. This maneuver will require careful manipulation of the three inputs, rear, up, and pitch. These need to be moved in unison as the craft levels out. Get it wrong, the ship drifts and crashes into the wall. The channel's known for no bullshit, so I'm gonna end on some possible solutions. First, I do accept that these larger ships may simply require auto landing now that we have hover. One way to make this better might be to increase the size of the landing box, ensuring that the automated system reliably takes control perfect every time. I would rather take an extra 30 seconds for the system to land my ship than to risk a manual accident that would probably take longer. A second idea comes from a fellow org mate, Paldron, who reminded me of a system that we had in patch 2.0. That was the first patch that we had auto land, and with it, the pilot had a very small hologram that was visible within the cockpit that showed the boundary and the ship. It was as effective as a backup camera is on a car. Reintroducing this type of system in ships with poor view would help us line up and land in those tight spaces. And that's it, short and sweet. Now it's up to you. I would love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please have a read of the other comments and then post your own. Thank you very much for spending your time with me and stay tuned for more topics like this about patch 3.6. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.